Joanne, you are just now finishing up the last few episodes of Downton Abbey after all these seasons. What's it going to be like when they say, and that's a series wrap for Joanne Froggett? Oh, it's going to be emotional. It, um, you know, it's going to be such a mixture of emotions. I think, you know, I, I'm excited to finish and I'm really sad to finish and it's going to be really strange. Um, all of those things. So probably, you know, I think we're all probably in, in the exact place that you'd want to be finishing a series. You know, we've got such fond memories and it's been such an amazing experience. Um, but I think it's the right time. I think six series or six seasons is you know, fantastic amount of work that we've all, you know, managed to keep going for that long and so grateful to the viewers for sort of keeping us going for six years. But it's nice to be able to go out on a high before, you know, before you get to the point where the viewing figures drop off and all of that thing, all of that sort of thing. So we're really happy that it's still as popular as ever and that, you know, we'll be, we'll be finishing on the high. Yeah, you never want to hear anybody say, is that show still on? I know exactly, exactly. You never want to outstay your welcome. <laughs> yeah, and exactly where are you in the production? How much more do you have left to shoot? We've got, uh, at the end of this week, we'll have seven weeks left. So we started filming in mid-February. So we're, yeah, you know, we're sort of two, two thirds done, a third to go. And I think people love to hear about, about how things are put together in production. A typical episode takes you how long, and just in terms of shooting? Well, we shoot in blocks of two episodes. So um, our first episode is usually 90 minutes long, so it's usually an extended episode. And um, and then obviously our, our slots after that. So we usually sort of shoot for about um, a month per two eps, so usually about two weeks per episode. And this past season, which is what will be on our Emmy ballots here this summer, you had a really good storyline where it kind of flipped from an earlier season where you're the one now in trouble potentially with the law and you get arrested. What did you think about that storyline? Um, again, it was, you know, it was a surprise to me. Julian never fails to surprise me with what he gives me to do. <laughs> um, and it was, um, you know, again, it was a surprise to everyone. I think it's a, you know, absolutely a way to, to keep the drama going and, and to keep the audience guessing really and to, um, you know, to see, to see what's what. Um, but yeah, I mean, Anna's such a good person, you know, she's got such a good heart. I don't think anyone believes that she's, that she's, mur she, she has it in her to murder anybody, you know, even after that horrendous situation that she went through. Um, certainly that's how I feel about her anyway. I don't, I don't believe she has that sort of inside of her. Um, so yeah, we'll have to wait and see, but it certainly adds some intrigue to the story. Even though we believe that about her, there still was that doubt, I think, among fans and even her with her husband, though. Could could he have done it? Well, this is the big question, you see. Mr. Bates is a little darker character, so we never quite know what he's capable of. Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to find out. It, it does um, get resolved in season six, but obviously I can't tell you. can't tell you how. <laughs> okay, good deal. Um, tell us along the way, though, as, as season five developed, you well know since you've had two Emmy nominations already. What what episode might you submit if you get nominated again here in, in about a month? Oh, I don't know. It's really difficult to, to sort of say. There's a there's a couple of episodes in in season five that I really enjoyed. That you know I really enjoyed playing the scenes. And one was um, I think it was episode six in the UK. I think it might be slightly different in the US, where um, you know the truth finally comes out with Anna and Bates that. Um, that he knows it was Mr. Green who attacked her and she's sort of terrified that that it was Mr. Bates that that had killed him and, and Mr. Bates sort of confesses to her that you know that it wasn't him um and so there's this moment of big relief for her and it's a big release for the for the two of them as well um and then also probably that the, the storyline that you mentioned sort of the last episode where Anna's you know taken to taken to prison, bless her, because um, it's just, you know, I think that was quite, quite a heart-wrenching moment after everything else she's been through as well. It's like, poor Anna, give her a break, Julian, please. <laughs> well, and you've got the great moment there at the end of that episode, the Christmas uh, special where, um, where the two of them are reunited there at the very, very end. Yeah, it's beautiful, that scene, actually. I was so happy with that. The Christmas special I loved. Um, and I really, I really loved those scenes that we did in the prison when it's, you know, the roles are reversed and it's Anna 
in in jail and it's Mr Bates coming to see her but I think one of my favourite moments actually of, of the whole of season five is when Anna and Bates come together at, the, at the, that final moment in the Christmas special which is the season finale in America um, I just think it's so romantic and hopeful and um, and just really sweet and it's just really nice to remind ourselves of that part of their relationship as well after all the turmoil and, and drama they've been through. And thanks to Julian for not leaving us hanging with him out on the run for a whole, you know, nine months. I know, he was kind to us with that one. He thought he sort of let everybody off the hook and said, no, they're going to be together for Christmas. <laughs> I want to ask you about a couple of the actors on the show, that, uh, really the two that you work the most with, and one is Brendan. Just talk about uh, that relationship between you and him. Oh, we have such a fantastic working relationship. He's, you know, he's become a very, very close friend. Um, it was just easy, you know, to be perfectly honest, we were just really lucky because as soon as we met um, for the first day of rehearsals on the first series, we were just on the same page and we just, you know, after the first conversation, I just thought, yeah, we're going to get on really well. We've got the same ideas and we have the same sort of mindset. We work in the same way. You know, we take our work incredibly seriously, but we like to have fun when it's appropriate as well. And um, and he's, you know, he's just great. He makes me laugh every day and he's got fantastic ideas of how to make a scene better. And, and we just, you know, when we've got sort of big emotional stuff to do, we both really thrive on sort of getting together and going, right, how are we going to make this, you know, the best we can possibly make it? And what should we do? And what about if, you know, if you're playing it like this, should I do this? And, and, and you know, it's fun because we can try things out with each other as well and, and just be a bit more daring, I guess, you know, which is, which is a real pleasure. Yeah. I've seen him in a couple of interviews. I haven't seen him in a lot of them, though. I don't think he does as many uh, as some of you do. And but he always strikes me as being sort of mischievous, like like maybe he's that character on the set that that you never know what he might do. Yeah, he's very mischievous. Yeah, in the best possible way. He's great fun, and he's got a very very big heart. He's a very kind man as well. He's great. And your character works for basically Michelle Dockery's character, yeah. uh, Lady Mary. What's it like working with her? Again, it's just really easy. I've been so fortunate. Um, I mean, you know, we're very lucky. Our cast is, is just great. Um, but again, Michelle and I love our scenes together. It's so nice because obviously on Downton, there's a lot of big group scenes. So we, we all have to do scenes where, you know, you're sort of throwing a, a line here and there because that's the nature of the beast. It's an ensemble. And, and that's one of the things that makes it look so grand and beautiful is these sort of big sweeping scenes with lots of characters in them and and all of this, which is fantastic. But from an acting point of view, it's really nice to just get a sort of one-on-one -on -one scene as well, where you can just make it about the acting um, and about the scene. And me and Michelle have a lot of fun together as well. You know, it's nice. Again, we've had some dramatic storylines together for, you know, on both sides for her character and for mine. And um, we've had some quite fun storylines to do together as well, which is nice. So it's, it's rung the, you know, it rings the changes between us. And I love their friendship, you know, I really, I really think it's, you know, I feel it's, it's a genuine friendship there, you know, within the constraints of, of this world that they live. Um, I love that you can really see that they genuinely care about each other and, and how much they do for each other. Your character, from what I can tell, and, and in my house too, is so beloved. I would imagine the season, the season four and then this past season five, when you have had things happening to you or in trouble or getting arrested. What's been the uh, reaction among among the public as those things have been going on? Yeah, it's, it's well, it's, you know, people do seem to have really taken to Anna and, and Anna and Bates as a couple. And it's been such a lovely surprise because obviously when we started out, Anna and Bates weren't the sort of young, glamorous couple, but they soon sort of became, um, you know, a couple that people really rooted for. And I think the slow burn of their relationship helped that. And you feel like you've really got to know these characters because they, you've been through so much with them. And I always saw Anna as a person that everyone would love as a best friend. You know, she's loyal, um, she's strong, but she doesn't suffer fools gladly, but she's very, very kind and she cares about people. Um, and, you know, it's sort of like what's not to like. I mean, I loved her from the moment I read... Uh, three scenes of Julian's writing at, of Anna. I just went. That's that's my role. I, I, that's her. Like I love her. I want to, I want to play this girl. Um, I'd never really played a character like that before either. So it's it's you know it's been lovely that that obviously people connect with those 
with those kind of emotions and those kind of characteristics as well it gives me gives me a lot of faith in the world that people like a good person <laughs> and you know we're an awards website so this is the fun part now with you especially you've had a really good year um at the good golden globes you win uh against a, a very fierce group of ladies there what was that evening like it was incredible i think you know it was the biggest bestest shock of my life i think I, you know i think it was quite obvious how surprised i was and um it was incredible it was like a fairy tale you know it was it was i kept having to pinch myself the next day and sort of look at it and go that really happened i can't believe that really happened so it was magical yeah it was it was a magical experience you know i've told people before even people like yourself that have won that particular category or, or on the male side we follow awards like nobody's business here. And I think that particular category at the Golden Globes, where they combine all of the movie people, uh, the TV movie people, and the miniseries, and the drama, and the comedy, just getting in that group is miraculous. And then to win it might be the single hardest category in all of awards to win. Oh, well, it, you know, I mean, I, like I say, I, I, I was sat there on the evening, and, and because of that reason, I was so relaxed. I was, as you say, it, I was so honored to be part of that category. And because it's, you know, as you say, it's so many categories combined in, in that um, in that award. So I was so relaxed. I was just sat there thinking, oh, it's totally fine. It's just, you know, once it's announced, we can sort of all relax and have a nice time. And I was just convinced, you know, convinced that it wouldn't be me. Because this there was just so many amazing women in the category. And so many of them had won Emmys that year, that year as well. So I was just thinking, oh, it's never going to be me. It's totally fine. Um, so it really was. I mean, it took a few seconds for it to sink in. When they said my name, I think I was sort of clapping, doing my, you know, oh well done, whoever, whoever won. And then, and then I was, it sort of dawned on me that I think I heard my name, and it was just a very, very surreal experience, but a wonderful, wonderful experience. People pushing you like, go, go, go. Yeah, <laughs> it was, it was a little bit like that. I was like, what do I do? Oh, I've got to go to the stage. Yeah, no, <laughs> it was amazing. Like I say, it was the, the best shock of my life. <laughs> yeah, I've heard people over the years, no matter what the awards say, my biggest, my biggest. My, my fear is losing, but my biggest fear is winning and having to go up there and say something. Yeah, I mean, it's that, it's that scary moment, isn't it, where you, you know, you have to speak in public. But, but actually, um, from the experience at, at the Globes, I think by the time I got to the stage, I, I just sort of wasn't really thinking about the speech. I felt, my mind felt quite calm, weirdly. But I think it's because you have this huge shock and then you just sort of go into autopilot and you know, and hope that you say everything that you, you feel you want to say in the right way and hope that it all comes out in the way that it's intended. And then just a couple of weeks later, not just you alone, but the whole group gets to celebrate at the SAG Awards, uh, winning for the second time as, as Best Ensemble. I know, it was, it was just such an amazing January, you know, that I probably think I'll never have a January like that again. <laughs> you know, it was just so amazing. Um, and it was so lovely to be able to share that joy with my castmates and we had such a great time it was it was so fun and again it's such a surprise we you know we really well we were sat around the dinner table just before and um you know we hadn't talked about if who would speak if we won or any of those things and which was a bit silly actually in hindsight um but yeah it was again you know a huge surprise we it's such amazing shows and um, and as we've been fortunate enough to, to win the uh, ensemble award before, we you know we just presumed it wouldn't go our way. So yeah, it was um, it was quite a spectacular start to the year for me, I have to say. <laughs> and I like the fact that you still allowed Alan Leach to come on stage with you, even though he abandoned you for his film. I know he was sat on a different table that evening. So um, yes, we gave him plenty of um, jibes about that, though. So yes, no, he was allowed to join us on stage, even though he'd, uh, even though we we were his second choice for the evening. <laughs> well, as we wrap up here, I, I, I had Julian Fellows on a couple of weeks ago, and then I had Gareth Neem on a couple uh, last week, and neither one of them will give up anything about this season. So they can't fire you at this point. What could you tell us that, uh, <laughs> that, that would uh, cause the internet to explode here? I like your thinking. I like your thinking. Sneaky. Um, well, what can I tell you? Um, again, not a lot, really. <laughs> to be, to be I, I was, listen, I wasn't expecting anything. I just had to. Try. <laughs> I don't know exactly how it ends because I haven't read the final episode yet. We, I haven't received the final episode yet. I'm supposed to be hopefully getting it tomorrow. So, um, 
but from you know from what we've filmed and stuff i think it's going to be a great final season i really do i think there's going to be so much drama but you know some really beautiful moments in there and there's a couple of really exciting storylines that that i can think of that are um very, quite different for downton as well but very in keeping with with the world as well so i think people will be really pleased with it i hope so well listen thank you so much congratulations on the victories already this year and we fully expect you to be nominated here in about a month and then we'll see what happens over in september at the emmy awards oh bless you well that would be nice but we'll have, we'll have to wait and see <laughs>